I started boxing myself when I was seven years old in a small town called Horn Payne up north and uh, I competed all the way through to the Olympic qualifier level. Then I went into coaching after my career ended and uh, last three years I've spent here at River City. Uh, it was just, it, you, once it's in your blood you can't leave the sport even though you're done taking punches. Um, you, you just want to pass the information along and keep it, uh, you know, where you, can, where you can help others kind of chase their dream now. Uh, the transition was actually very smooth because I was kind of still in the aspect of athlete transitioning to coach as a lot of the other students who were kind of new to the sport were asking a lot of questions and looking up to you as a leader and kind of a role model so you start going right into the coaching role without even realizing you're going into it then you just kind of continue to seek more knowledge and you know better yourself as a as a coach and a leader so that you can continue to help them grow so that was a pretty smooth transition I was working as a ring announcer in Sarnia, uh, sorry, in uh, London, as um, MC for the night at a uh, Hilton event they were holding there. And the River City boxing team was there. And they were complimenting on how great a job I had done as a ring announcer. And I also mentioned that I was a coach. So the sport of boxing was already something I was familiar with, made the MC job a lot easier. They asked if I'd come down here and do the MC ring announcing job for them if they had a, a River City home show. I said, absolutely. And uh, we, we started to develop a relationship from there. Next thing you know, it was maybe within a year I was moving to Sarnia and coming right into what feels like home here at River City.